Hello everyone, this is Shran from Learnacom. In previous videos, we explored PLC and DCS powerful control systems for individual machines and entire plants. But what happens when we need to monitor and control systems spread across vast geographical areas like a city or even a country? That's where SCADA systems come in. SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. It's a system of hardware and software elements that allow organizations to supervise and control large-scale industrial processes and remote locations. It's about gathering data, making decisions, and sending commands over long distances. This control room showcases the power of SCADA technology in the rail and transit sector. The system gathers data from sensor and devices located along the tracks and on the trains themselves, transmitting this information to central control center. Here, the data is processed and visualized, providing operators with a clear picture of the current state of the rail network. The large displays provide a comprehensive view of the network, while individual workstations allow operators to interact with a specific section of the track. They can control signals, switches, and even communicate with the train drivers, all from the central location. This level of control is essential for preventing delays, managing emergencies, and optimizing the flow of the rail traffic. SCADA systems are made of several key components. RTUs, or remote terminal units, are specialized data acquisition and control units that collect data from sensors and field devices and send it to the central system. In many cases, SCADA systems interface with existing control systems such as PLCs. Think of it this way. A power grid is monitored by a SCADA system, but individual substations within the grid might have their own local control systems based on PLCs. These PLCs handle the detailed control within the substations, managing transformers, circuit breakers, and other equipments, while the SCADA system provides a higher level view, monitoring the overall grid stability, power flow, and managing switching operations between substations. The HMI provides an interface for operators to monitor and control processes. The central server processes data and manages the overall system. A communication network connects all these components and transmits data between RTUs, PLCs, and the central servers. The historian is a specialized database designed for storing large volume of timestamp data. This historical data is crucial for analyzing trends, identifying patterns, generating reports, and optimizing future operations. So how does the SCADA work? It starts with data acquisition, collecting information from RTUs and local controllers. This data is then transmitted to the central server through the communication network. The central server processes and analyzes the data and sends control commands back to the local controllers to optimize the performance. Operators can monitor and visualize real-time data and system status on the HMI. SCADA systems allows operators to remotely control and adjust the process based on the collected data. This can involve storing and stopping equipment, adjusting parameters, and making other changes to optimize the process. SCADA stores historical data, providing a long-term record of the process. This data can be used for trend analysis, troubleshooting, and identifying areas for improvement. SCADA systems offer tools for analyzing and reporting on the collected data. This allows operators and management to generate reports, identify trends, and make data-driven decisions to improve efficiency, quality, and safety. Why use the SCADA? While PLCs control individual machines and DCS manages plant-wide processes, but they are designed for managing geographically dispersed infrastructure. That's where SCADA comes in. SCADA is essential 
for supervising and controlling systems spanning cities or region like power grids, pipelines, and water network. SCADA enables remote monitoring and supervision, provides real-time data and system status, logs data for analysis and reporting, and easily scales to accommodate growing operations. SCADA systems are used in a variety of industries. In the oil and gas, they supervise the flow and integrity of the pipelines. In utilities, they monitor and control power transmission and distribution. And in transportation, they control traffic systems and railway networks. Now let's talk about some of the SCADA market leaders. Several vendors offer powerful and versatile solutions, and here are a few of the leading names in the industry. Siemens Simatic VinCC is the dominant player known for its scalability and seamless integration with the other automation products. GE Digital's iFix emphasizes open architecture and broad connectivity, making it suitable for diverse applications. And Inductive Automation's Ignition is a more recent entrant gaining traction for its modern web-based approach, ease of use, and flexible licensing. Okay. So that was a short overview of SCADA. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you to learn something new, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.